Hello and welcome to the SAP Business One Lifecycle Management e-learning session. My name is Trinidad Martinez and I'm part of the SAP Business One Solution Architects team. The agenda presented here shows the process to be followed in order to package and deploy SAP Business One extensions. First, you create a delivery unit. A delivery unit can be regarded as a collection of several packages for centralization of management. You can create a delivery unit in two ways, using SAP HANA lifecycle management tools or using the SAP HANA Studio. Secondly, you need to create an add-on to embed the new SAP HANA app into SAP Business One Client. The add-on will allow you to create menu entries and forms in SAP Business One Client. You will first package this add-on with your app and finally register and deploy the package in SAP Business One. We will cover in detail each one of the steps in the following slides. Let's start with the export of your delivery unit from SAP HANA via the lifecycle management tools. In this section, we will use the SAP HANA lifecycle management tools. These tools are available as a URL on the SAP HANA server. There is no need to install any extra components on your HANA server or your local computer. You need to assign some extra SAP HANA access LM for lifecycle management roles to the SAP HANA user that will use the lifecycle management tools. You have here the list of roles that need to be assigned. You can find out more details on how to assign roles in the SAP HANA application lifecycle management roles reference at the end of this presentation. Once in the lifecycle management tools, select the delivery units dial. Press the Create button to create a new delivery unit and fill at least the mandatory field name. We recommend you to use your namespace as a prefix of the delivery unit name. You can provide also a version, the description and the responsible person for these package details. Then press Create. Once the delivery unit is created, you can select it from the list on the left side of the screen. Press the button Assign on the Assign Package section of your delivery unit in order to select the package collection you want to deliver as part of, of your application. If you check the Select SUF packages, all SUF packages inside the selected package will be part of the delivery unit. Press Export to generate your delivery unit file. Keep the default file format proposed corresponding to your current SAP HANA version. If required, you can change the file format. You can find out all details on the different file formats in the attached note 1984354. The provided PDF attached to this presentation explains how to export the delivery unit from SAP HANA via SAP HANA Studio. We will skip this section in this presentation as we recommend to use the SAP HANA Web Workbench as the new set of tools that will be continued in upcoming SAP HANA releases. In order to be able to open the SAP HANA XSC app into the SAP Business One client, you need to create a SAP Business One add-on as a UI container for the SAP HANA XSC app. The UI API add-on will act as a container to accommodate any web application in SAP Business One Client, whether it is a web app that runs in the Access Engine of SAP HANA or any other web application. To save you having to develop the UI API add-on, you can download a free tool that will create the add-on for you. To access the tool, follow the link provided here pointing to the SAP community. The tool will create the menu entry in the SAP Business One menu and the necessary forms. When the menu is selected by the user, the web page for the SAP HANA app will open in the add-on form. All you need to do is to customize the add-on in order to reference your SAP HANA XSC app and define some properties of the add-on to define the menus and forms to be created in the SAP Business One client. Please check the blog for detailed information on this tool as well as to download it. The blog explains three options. Number one, to use the add-on already prepackaged and just configure it, no compilation required. Option two, to recompile the add-on after having customized it. And option three, 
to create your own add-on. Please note that the B1X app container add-on tool and its source code are provided by SAP under SAP Community as is license agreement. No official support is provided by SAP. The UI API add-on that will be used as a container for your HANA XSC application or any web application will use some features that have been released for this purpose. The first one is a new web browser UI control available since SAP Business One 9.2 patch number 3 version for SAP HANA. This UI control allows you to open a web page inside an SAP Business One form. You need to provide simply a URL to point to the SAP HANA XS app. The second feature is the XS Engine based URL property that provides the root path to your SAP HANA XS server. With this property, you avoid hard coding the root of your HANA XSC server URL in your add on code. In order to get your SAP HANA XSC app registered and running in the SAP Business One client, you need to create an extension registration file that will package together your SAP HANA XSC delivery unit and the add on we just created in the section before. In order to create the extension registration file, we will use the extension registration manager. There are two options to open this tool. Option number one is to use the extension package tool executable available from the SAP Business One SDK installation folder, tools, extension package. Second option is to use the Microsoft Visual Studio SAP Business One Studio plugin. Both options are equivalent and use the same tool that follows the SAP Business One lightweight add-on deployment process. In order to create the registration file, several steps are required. On a first step, enter all required basic information like extension name, version, etc. On a second step, you need to provide all your add-on required files like executable, images, and any other files required for running your add-on. You will repeat a step number two if you have a 32 and a 64 add-on version. The third step will allow us to package the delivery unit we exported from SAP HANA in previous units. We just need to choose the delivery unit.tgz file, give a name to our app and add a package name. Two more steps are required to create your extension package. Step number four, we need to provide the SAP Business One versions for which our extension will be compatible. And in step number five, we can provide installation parameters. If you want to learn more details on the different steps, such as adding parameters, using these tools as command line, etc., please check the document at Partner Edge with title Lightweight Deployment for SAP Business One Extensions. Please note you require an S user to be able to access this document. More details on this document will be found in the reference slide at the end of this presentation. Once your extension package defined, press package in order to create a zip file containing all the information and files provided. We are ready now to import this package to SAP Business One via the SAP Business One Extension Manager tool. You can also save your current package with export button and import it again in this tool with import. Let's now deploy the extension we created in the previous unit into SAP Business One. In order to get the extension deployed into SAP Business One, we will use the SAP Business One Extension Manager. To access this tool, go to the SAP Business One Client, Administration, Add-ons, Add-on Administration menu. On the Add-on Administration form, click on the Manage Extensions for Lightweight Deployment link at the bottom of the form. The SAP Business One Extension Manager tool opens in a browser. You first need to log in with the B1 Site User credentials. The list of already deployed lightweight extensions will be shown. You can also directly access this tool with the URL provided on this slide. In the SAP Business One Extension Manager tool, press Import. Browse to the extension registration zip file we created in the previous section and press Upload. Specify any parameters required to run the new app and press finish. 
you will get the extension successfully imported message as a result. Once the extension package imported, we can proceed to the assignment of our extension to the different SAP Business One company databases. You can run the company assignment wizard directly from the import wizard using the link on the results message, or you can go to the company assignment tab to run the wizard. We can select one company database at a time. You can also define the default startup mode for the app, manual, automatic, mandatory, or disabled. This determines how the extension is launched for all users that are connected to the assigned company. You have the option to select a different startup mode on a per user basis. After you press finish, the deployment is complete. Users can now consume the app in SAP Business One. In this slide, you can find out some useful links that provide extra details on the SAP HANA delivery unit and lifecycle management concepts. We have now completed the SAP Business One lifecycle management e-learning session. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation and you are motivated to continue with the following e-learning sessions. Thank you for participating and goodbye.